After exploring the deepest point on Earth, Canadian filmmaker James Cameron is reaching for the stars. He's teaming up with billionaires in an eye-popping venture to mine asteroids in outer space. The idea may well sound like science fiction, but those behind Planetary Resources, Inc. believe the project could yield tens of billions of dollars in minerals and water. We're talking about something which is extraordinarily difficult, but the returns economically and of benefit to humanity are extraordinary. Now, if the concept takes off, spacefaring robots could be harvesting the first asteroid within a decade. Who better to dig into this story than our very own Bob McDonald, the national science correspondent, is in Victoria tonight. So, Bob, what are we talking about here? Is this real or is this pure science fiction? Oh, no, this is very real, Diana, because the idea of mining asteroids has been around for a long time. We know that they contain minerals. It's just a matter of getting there. I have some animation that will show you what they plan to do. There are millions of asteroids out in space, most of them out around Mars, but some of them come close to the Earth. They're called near-Earth asteroids, and that's what these guys want to target. Uh, we've already been to some of them with our robots. We've checked them out. They're flying mountains, and they come in many different sizes and shapes, and the idea is to target a small one that comes close to the Earth. And then we send out some robots, very simple robots, to do the basic prospecting. Check them out, see how big they are, how they're moving, and what kind of minerals they have on board. And then maybe we could even nudge it a little bit to bring it closer to the Earth, not hit the Earth, but bring it close to us so it would be within range, and then begin mining it, either on the surface or, or even try to encapsulate the whole thing and uh, do the mining up there. The minerals that they'll get out of it, there's iron, there's platinum, there's nickel, there's all kinds of things that we know is out there that could be sold down here on earth for a profit and they could also use this stuff as material to build things in space if we want to go further out into space we could basically live off the land by building from the materials that are already up there well cameron knows how to make money you just might make this work <laughs> thanks bob you might okay diana